Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. This video is a quick tutorial on how to import title updates from your Xbox 360 and install them in the Xbox 360 emulator Xenia. Some games will require a title update in order to access DLC or certain features that were patched in after release, but before we get too far, I do want to mention that title updates currently only work in the Canary version of Xenia, although there are plans to add full support for them in the Master version as well. I can't provide you with any title updates myself, but everything else that you'll need is down in the description. While you're down there, you'll also find timestamps for each step of this process, so if you already have your title update file, you can skip right ahead to adding the update to Xenia. If you still need to import your title update from your console, I'm gonna cover two methods on how to do so in this video, so feel free to watch them both, or just skip ahead to the one that's relevant to you. The first method is not very straightforward, and it won't work with all updates, but it's a bit more accessible to most people since it only requires an Xbox 360, a USB drive, an Xbox Live enabled profile, and a connection to Xbox Live. The second method is much simpler, but it requires an Xbox 360 data transfer cable or a compatible SATA to USB adapter depending on your model of Xbox, both of which can be tricky to find. You may also still need an operational Xbox 360 and access to Xbox Live as well if you haven't already installed the update on your console. And last of all, before we jump into the tutorial, be sure to give this video a like if you find it useful, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me in the future. This first method of importing your title updates will allow you to store them on a USB drive to easily transfer them to your PC. Unfortunately, updates that are already installed on your hard drive can't simply be copied or moved, so to get around this, we'll need to install the update fresh on removable storage. To get started, disconnect the hard drive from your Xbox 360 and insert your USB drive. Then power up your console and head to the Settings tab on your dashboard. From here go into System Settings, then Storage, then select your USB drive and hit Y. Scroll down to Make System Drive, then just hit Configure Now and give it a few minutes for your console to format your USB drive. Once it's done, shut down your console and reattach the hard drive. Then start it back up and head back to the storage menu. Go into your hard drive and down to Profiles, then find your profile with live access and move it over to your USB drive. You can move this back to your hard drive when you're done getting your title update. Once your profile's been transferred over, shut down your console and remove the hard drive one more time. Now boot up your Xbox with your USB drive still connected and install any system update that may be required to continue using Xbox Live. Once you're set, just start your game and install the title update when you're prompted to do so. When it's done, you can shut down your console and bring your USB drive over to your PC. Open up Velocity and it should recognize your USB drive as an Xbox 360 system drive and allow you to explore the files. Hit the little arrow to expand the contents of your drive then do the same thing to expand the Shared Items folder. Expand the Updates section, and you should see your title update here. If you don't see it, then unfortunately this method will not work, and you'll need to use the other method to import that specific update. Once you've found your title update, just right-click it, and copy it to the local disk. I'm going to put this on my desktop for this video, but you can put it anywhere that's easily accessible. For the second method, you'll need to have an Xbox 360 data transfer cable or a compatible SATA to USB adapter. I use a transfer cable and my SATA to USB adapter is not compatible, so unfortunately I can't recommend any specific adapters, but they do seem to be out there. To get started, all you need to do is download the update to your Xbox 360 like normal if you haven't already. Once it's installed, remove the hard drive and connect it to your PC. Then open up the version of Explorer 360 that matches your drive. You'll want to run the program as an administrator, otherwise it won't be able to find your hard drive. Also make sure that you're using the correct version of Explorer 360 for your hard drive, and only Explore Partition 3, otherwise you run the risk of corrupting your data. In Explorer 360, go up to Drive, Open, and Hard Drive or Memory Card. Your hard drive should automatically be detected, and the contents will populate on the left. Open up Partition 3, then click into your cache, and sort by name. The file that you want starts with T, U. If you have more than one title update in your cache, you can extract them all to somewhere that's easily accessible like your desktop. Then just open up Velocity and drag the files over to see which games the updates are for. Once you have your title update saved to your computer, 
go ahead and open up your Xenia content directory. Find your games folder and head into it. Then create a new folder called 000B0000. Paste your update file inside of this folder, and that's all there is to it. The next time you load up your game, you should be able to access your DLC or additional features if a title update was required. If you still aren't able to get your title update to work, the first thing that I suggest doing is making sure that you have the correct update for the correct game. And again, just keep in mind that this only works with Xenia Canary, and installing a title update may not affect your game. Xenia is still a work in progress, so there's still some things that prevent certain features and DLC packages from working at all. If you found this video useful, be sure to subscribe to my channel for all sorts of other tutorials and emulation related content. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.